You know, we all want to do something that makes a difference. I actually felt like uh, God called me to be a coach. It's level on the football field. There's not, you know, there's not rich guys, poor guys, black guys, white guys, guys that's got a future, guys that don't have a future. It's level. During the chapel service prior to the 300th win, I looked around the room and saw this team and thought to myself, only 10 other teams in the history of all college football have ever had this opportunity to go into a game and to win 300 games. Their goal hasn't been to win 300 football games or even one game. Their goal has been to help young men become men and, I hope to, and to develop to character. And I hope to football includes football. every emotion there is. Uh, it includes every human element there is. You find out more than anything, it, it's, this life is more than about you. It's not just about you. He's, he's, he's a street fighter by nature, and so he can, he can connect on that level with our guys. But at the same time, he can, he can pull you aside in the room, get one-on-one -on -one and eye-to-eye, -eye and stare you right, right through your soul, you think, sometimes. And he'll connect with the players on a one-on-one -on -one basis, too. I grew up in a uh, Christian home. Uh, it was already uh, deep inside of me. Um, you know, good parents raised me that way, taught me the right things, the wrong things. Uh, but when I got here and got uh, in this program, I learned how, um, along those guidelines, be a man. We've had many times a, a baptismal service where we gathered together. This year we went down uh, to the lake, and there were so many of them. I asked the uh, coach to come down and help me. And he had never participated in a baptism before. But we all got together there on the, on the beautiful uh, edge of the lake and had a baptism service. It was, it was great. As a high school athlete, I did have some opportunities to play uh, uh, football and basketball in college. Uh, but I chose the wrong road. As a 18 year old, uh, I ended up spending a year in jail. But God definitely had a different plan when I got here. So when Coach Sparks came, the influence of, of Christ-centered uh, athletics really became, you know, paramount. Fortune and fame and power and pleasure and all my toys and all my position and, and all those things are not going to be very fulfilling. And it's pretty dead end when you, when you get there, I, you know. And just like, you know, everybody made us think about the 300 thing. And uh, three minutes after that 300 thing was over, it, it was over. If you don't have the Son of God, you don't have life. You know, we're all going to die. It's pretty temporary, this old thing, just like the 300 victories. And then, the, and then what's next? We need to be doing some things that have eternal value, or, it's, or this life don't have a whole lot of purpose for it. It doesn't have a whole lot of meaning to it. And it has been my goal to influence kids and to help uh, encourage people to think about real values. Could I have done it with two victories and still 300 victories? I think the Lord could have done it. The Lord don't need our human accomplishments. He took 12 pretty uneducated guys that uh, uh, that me and you wouldn't pick. We wouldn't pick them on our team. You know, they didn't. They didn't. They couldn't. They couldn't run a four-four. Probably. You know, they they probably couldn't bench three fifty. Uh, you know, uh, and we probably wouldn't have picked those guys. And uh, by the world standards, they weren't real attractive. They were fishermen, and you know, some of them common laborers, a tax a tax collector. I wouldn't pick that sucker. You know. Uh, you know. And but what what did they do? Because they surrendered to Christ, and they. They yielded to Christ, uh, mighty things were done, and I'm sitting here today because of them and because of the plan they had. And the interesting thing about, about Jesus, he didn't have a backup plan. He went with those guys, and, uh, uh, and they did it pretty good. They was a pretty good football team. That 11 guys was a pretty good football team. You know, and I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have recruited them Boy, I'd love to have played with them. I'd love to have lined up with them.